this week's video, I want to discuss a topic that has a lot more to do with gaming as a whole, but certainly ties into Dota and Keyways. Ever since the Darkseer video I posted a week ago, I've been streaming over at twitch.tv slash wireguitar and chain queuing games. For reference, chain queuing is when you queue solo ranked matchmaking for hours on end during a loss streak, oftentimes in the middle of the night, thinking that every game you play brings you closer to a win. As you can probably imagine, the opposite is true, and you are far more likely to lose when you're tired and freshly tilted from defeats prior, but chain queuing is often a subconscious result of addiction, so we're often unaware it's occurring until it's too late. We've lost a lot of MMR. In any case, I dropped 700 MMR in about a week's time, which I attribute purely to myself, as ultimately I am the only consistent factor in my games. However, taking responsibility is not the point of this video. The point of this video is to highlight my addictive tendencies with Dota, and to share them with all of you in hopes that I am not the only one experiencing them. A typical day chain queuing Dota games goes as follows. I wake up at around 2pm, stick around watching YouTube videos and eating food for an hour before starting up my stream. Then I'll play, you know, games for about 4-6 to six hours until I decide that I need more food and I've lost enough games for the typical uh, evening. At which point I turn off my stream, eat food and dick around on YouTube for a few more hours, possibly multitasking by playing Path of Exile, before playing more solo queue games off stream from around 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. Then, once I've lost about 200-ish MMR for the day, I go watch some pro replays and try to figure out what I'm doing wrong. What's peculiar about my form of video game addiction is that I notice there's a problem and even attempt to troubleshoot my issues uh, in the game, but I never consider that playing less Dota is the problem that I should be trying to solve the most. Actually trying to balance out my life is the best solution to success in Dota, but also in real life. When I grinded up to 6400 MMR to begin with, that was only playing a few games a day because I had school, work, and working out to occupy my free time outside of Dota. It is when I dedicate my entire existence to grinding solo queue ladder that I find myself growing stagnant at the game. And so my pledge to myself, and hopefully somebody else is able to take something from this video so it's not too meaningless to anybody besides myself, is that I want to try to challenge myself to fix my sleep schedule, watch more replays of higher MMR players, play the game less, uh, and focus on my physical and personal health outside of Dota so that I may prosper more inside the game and out. I, of course, still want to make educational content for the game. That won't change, and that will remain my primary focus on this platform and really on the internet in general. Uh, I just want to do that when I feel as though I am, have a comfortable relationship with the game as well as am confident enough in my own skill as a player to be able to educate people. My biggest fear when talking about literally any subject with some degree of authority is that I might be wrong. And when it comes to something like Dota, I know that compared to most players, and I'm not saying this to boast, I'm right about a lot of things, but I still have room to grow. A lot of room to grow, in fact. There are players that have literally double my MMR, um, and that, I think, in my opinion, just goes to show how much room to grow there still is. So I'm going to have to put the Enigma guide on hold, at least until the next patch, just because I want to make sure that, again, I know what I'm doing, and that also the next patch doesn't screw up all of my plans for, uh, you know, what I would want to advise you guys to do in that guide. Um, if you are curious as to what I've been doing on Enigma, I highly encourage you to watch my stream, because honestly, we don't know how long it there is until the next patch drops. Uh, I thought it was going to drop last Friday. I was wrong. Uh, some people say it'll drop this week. They might be wrong. So there is still time for you to eke out wins on heroes that I am playing, if you're curious to do it the way that I've been doing it. Uh, obviously, there's the Dark Cirque guide that you can go reference on my channel. Uh, and then if you just watch my stream, you can see what I've been doing on other heroes, such as Sand King, Enigma, Brewmaster, etc. There's a, you know, just go check my stream. If you're curious as to what I've been doing to play this patch, and you don't mind <laughs> sifting through a lot of bad games that I've been losing, because again, I have been losing some games, unfortunately, uh, go watch my stream. But uh, I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm still the same person that uh, I've always been, you know, being very inconsistent with uploads, but always interested in pumping a super educational and informative video for you guys when I get the chance to just really sit down and think about a think about a hero, and especially go on some crazy win streak where I feel like I performed exceptionally on said hero. I will, of course, pump a video out for you guys to see so that I can boast a little bit and stroke my own ego, but also hopefully inform you all as to what it is that I've been doing on these heroes to play against some decent players uh you know that's always been my content so um you know i know i've deleted my videos and maybe if there are any new subscribers out there that are wondering uh from the darkster guide or the reddit post that i made a little while back if any of you guys out there out there are wondering what my content used to look like it's basically just this me making excuses as to why i'm not making a video and then occasionally shitting a video out uh that comes out of nowhere and 
maybe touches your heart in some way <laughs> because you learned a little bit more about Dota than you knew uh, prior to watching it. So yeah, without any further ado, uh, enjoy the rest of your week or life if this video touches you at a time that is not the present um, that I am making it. And yeah, tune into my stream uh, and I love you all and take care.